Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Drew. In this video, we're going to complete the assembly of the SR-71 and get some primer down. So thanks for joining me and enjoy the video. So what I did, and to secure this, since it doesn't fit into uh, the slots, and it doesn't fit the way it's supposed to fit, is I was able to you know make some there was some con there are some contact points where it does just sit in there and then I just uh, basically just flooded it with super glue <laughs> and and I'm looking and the next part is basically you glue this here to the nose and it does fit I test fit I did some test fitting and it does fit pretty good um, and then because and when you look inside you really can't see that gap anyway so uh, it worked out okay so the next step before I glue this in here is I need to put all of the uh, little camera windows in and so I'm gonna do that um, here are the clear parts I gave them a, a dip in future so they're nice and shiny looking and I'm gonna secure the windows in with some uh, just some PVA this is just Elmer's Craft Bond glue. It's just it's just a lot thicker than the regular Elmer's glue, but I like Elmer's glue for windows. So I'm gonna put that in there and then secure this to this, and uh, it'll start taking shape. So I'm just going to let those dry for a while, and then I'll uh, put this on. Okay, so now I got that piece glued together. Uh, this goes here. It's kind of slides in like this. There we go. Yeah. Looks like it's going to be a pretty good fit. I got it in place. I think I'll just run some uh, Tammy Extra Thin down in, uh, down in it.
I'm gonna be pretty heavy with this because it's uh, I wanted to get it down there and get a good good bond. Pretty long model. Okay, so now I'm going to slide this into here. All that lined up. And we're just going to tackle it with some. locator pins in some of the spots. It looks pretty good except this side. Let's see what's going on there. Okay guys, so here's where I'm at. I've got, uh, basically it's all assembled. i got the engine spikes installed, the uh, vertical stabilizers, I've masked the, the canopy windows, I've also masked the camera windows, I glued the gear doors on because I'm going to uh, display this on a stand or hang it. Um, so I went ahead and decided uh, wheels up, so I glued the doors in. So right now the model is in what I call the ugly phase. It looks terrible. Um, I had to uh, do some filling and sanding along the where the top half of the fuselage joined the bottom. Um, so it looks pretty rough, but once I get some primer on it, it should look a lot better. Uh, I'm going to give it some, I'm going to clean it up and uh, use Steiner Res Gray Primer. And there, I'm going to go from there. So, alright, be right back. Okay guys, I got it all primed. Um, I had to clean up some of the seams on the bottom and reprime it. I also painted the uh, inside of the jet nozzles with Tamiya uh, X10 gunmetal. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and attach the afterburners and then get on with painting the base color which I'm going to use. Uh, Tamiya XF69 NATO black and that way it's just not you know super deep black but it's a NATO black it's a little bit uh, a little bit lighter shade of black kind of a grayish color in there all right 